Here we go now. Some barbecue There's no doubt that I'm better than you With these looks And these moves You can't blame me for being so rude The land of the red, white, and blue Will be my home till the day I die I'm every lady's fantasy The trailer park is where I'm from. You better believe I have about 27 guns. Baseball games, pickup trucks. I'm Happy Lisa. Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Phil Singer Games Fan Podcast. This is episode number 106 of the podcast that uh, tries to bring some positivity to the Phil Singer Games uh, fandom. And uh, give you a rundown of the the week's news. And there's a lot of news. Some of the news, as always, on this Friday is just breaking. My name is Grant Bachoco, and I am honored. And I, I thank you for joining me. Uh, the Phil Singer Games Fan Podcast. This is episode number 106. This is the podcast that always believed and always will believe in the power of the Alpha Stone. Welcome, everybody. Grant Bachoco here. And uh, it's just an absolute pleasure to have you along for the ride. We've got a lot of fun stuff we're going to take a look at today. Uh, and then the question of the week, which actually the la question for last week was the biggest response to a question that we've ever asked on the show. Um, so we will get to that, of course, as well. Um, just would like to, uh, to give a big shout out to the uh, Saturday Morning Media patrons who make this show possible. Uh, the names you see on the screen and many others who have uh, made a recurring pledge over at patreon.com forward slash Saturday morning media. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get into it. Um, uh, before we start with the news, we want to uh, check out what else is going on in the ch the rest of the channel. I was not able to get a, um, a, a what do you call it? A, a, an overview out this week, but I was able to play my final card of 2136 Big Bang, and I played the final four matches of that card uh, live uh, on the YouTube channel. So if you've not watched it yet, check it out. Find out who finishes uh, 21 uh, 2136 as the champion because uh, it was fun. It was a, it was a, it was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of fun. All right, moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we've got some news. We're going to start, as we always do, with the Phil Singer Games Independent Wrestling Game. And, uh, of course, uh, the big announcement so far this week um, uh, that kicked off uh, Monday was the Best of Indies Tag Team 2020 set, Revolt, was announced. Best of Indies, Best of Indies Teams 2020 will feature five top regular tag teams on the indie scene today. And the final team for the set is Revolt. Uh, Caleb Conley, if I'm saying that right, and Zane Riley. This is the first Phil Singer Games card for Riley, while Conley was part of the first, uh, was part of the Evolve Starter Set released in 2014. So there you go. I don't know much about these guys. I have not uh, heard uh, of them. Um, I don't know of them, but uh, I know there was a lot of buzz on the boards about these guys. So um, I think, yeah, I think the the whole set has been announced. Um, maybe they're waiting on some Indies Prime. There were no Indies Prime. Uh, the Best of Indies Tag Team 2020 includes Revolt, Bear Country, Besties in the World, Aussie Open, and Wild Cards, who we talked about last week. Uh, the set is available for pre-order and will begin shipping. Um, oh, now they're saying they used they were saying by September 30th. Now they're saying on September 30th. So there you go. Uh, that's the latest update there. Uh, Indies Prime, there was no new um, announcements for that. So uh, wrapping up Indies, we will move on to Champions of the Galaxy and the latest news for Champions of the Galaxy. Now, there were no new, uh, there was no new info on Tournament of Champions, which is the big 50th anniversary celebration set, not 50th anniversary, but 50th celebrating 50 game editions. Um, so uh, there's no... Um, 
there's no uh, no news on that, but uh, we will, um, you know, if there is any news, of course, we will have it next week. Um, I'm wondering if because there's not a lot of news is I mean, I understand the nature of the set. The nature of the set is actually almost a new starter set that uh, that newbies can get. This isn't this isn't necessarily for the hardcore champions of the galaxy player. Um, so. It's uh, I understand that, but uh, it's interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how much new art we get as opposed to how much um, uh, reused art we are going to get. And if there's going to be any changes on that reused art, I don't know. We will find out. Uh, so nothing for Champions of the Galaxy main, uh, but we did have an announcement for COTG Prime, um, which is that Sunny Rocket was announced. Um, the FTR gets a brand new star, Sunny Rocket. Sunny is the only son of legendary GWF manager Johnny Rocket. Um, so he is getting an FTR card. The This is the second of these CT, COTG Prime cards where the background has been super lackluster. And I wonder if there's a story behind that or if not or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so, uh, but yeah, just kind of a plain background. Um, the art is uh, Werner. Great job, as always. Um, he's called Sonny Rocket because he is the son of Johnny Rocket. So there you go, if you didn't get that. But there you go. That is for the uh, Champions of the Galaxy fans uh, who are into COTG Prime. Moving on now to the big announcement that we just had. Michael, welcome. Uh, glad to have you watching. Um, Legends of Wrestling card game. We got another uh, announcement. Oh, well, you saw it right there. There it is. It's Dick Hutton was announced. The former world heavyweight champion Dick Hutton is the next competitor to join the roster of the George Tragos Luthez Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame set. Hutton captured the world championship from Luthez. Uh, namesake of the Hall of Fame. Who will win their rematch? It's up to you, promoter. It's actually it's up to the dice, right? I don't know. Anyway, uh, so Dick Hutton is the uh, new name. And uh, if we're going to take a look at uh, we almost have the full roster. The whole full roster is almost complete. Jack Briscoe, Dan Severn, Bob Roop, George Tragos, Jim Lundos, Barb, uh, Barb. Sorry, I was thinking of my grandmother. Uh, Baron Von Raschke, Dick Hutton, and uh, Gerald Briscoe was announced at, um, uh, at Galacticon. And then Danny Hodge was supposedly announced too. Um, so their names are in parentheses because they have not been officially announced. But welcome, Dick Hutton to the game um and so again these these all ship uh end of september i guess september 30th now is when these ship so you can uh check that out and uh, i have pre-ordered this for sure because I'm, i want to get this set S still not a fan of the real pictures in the background but um you know my opinion does not matter uh so there you go um Legends Prime, no new news this week, but they did say last week that the third competitor, when they announced the spoiler and uh, the other name that's escaping me right now, um, they did say last week the third competitor in Legends Prime would be saved as a surprise. Now, I don't know if that means a surprise announced uh, some other time or um, a surprise that will you'll get it in the mail. So um, I don't know when or if we will know that, but uh, there you go. All right, uh, we're going to talk about the question of the week last week. We had so many responses for this. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, the question of the show last week was, if you could sign any legend to Legends of Wrestling, who would it be? And we had a ton of answers. Joe says, would love to see the rest of the Horsemen, Arn and Ole Anderson, and the big one, Ric Flair. Dusty Rhodes? Um, uh, that is... Uh, <laughs> The question was one, Joe, not all of them. I'm, I'm just giving you a bad time, Joe. Uh, Keith Simmons says, this is a tough one, but I would have to go with Brett the Hitman Hart. Thomas Morgan says, I would like to see you do live plays with the Legends of Wrestling cards. Okay, that has nothing to do with the question, uh, but thank you, Thomas. Chad Olson, one of the Legends crew himself, says, I would love to have Kerry Von Eric signed to Legends, but that answer could change on a daily basis. Does he mean that Kerry Von Eric is almost signed and that answer could change? No, I think he just means he has favorites that he loves to get signed. Um, so very cool that Chad chimed in there. Me, I commented the Honky Tonk Man, the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time. And responsible for making the names of some of the greatest superstars of all time. Ultimate Warrior, where would he be without his Intercontinental title win? New Age Outlaws, 
Where would they be without the Honky Tonk Man? Nowhere. So there you go. Honky Tonk Man is my pick. Mark Hitch, uh, Mark says, uh, Hulk Hogan, my Fed needs a huge face. And Pete Beck, good old Pete Beck says, Sting, enough said. And then over at GWFpromoter.com, uh, Joe Mikos said, I'd sign the Great Muda. So there you go. There's uh, great responses from everybody. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Michael who is watching right now, agrees with me, says Honky Tonk Man would rule. I agree, Michael. I agree 110%. So thank you to everybody who chimed in. Now it is time for the question of the show this week. Do you roll twice for disqualifications? I don't know. Do you? Answer in the comments below and let me know because uh, I would love to know what the general consensus is. Um, and, uh, and there you go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, short show this week, but we, we have all we need to talk about. I mean, it was, uh, it was action packed. We got through the news and, uh, there you go. Um, Michael is saying, yes, he does roll twice for, for DQs. Uh, so I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to let you start your, your weekend early. I'm not going to, uh, to, to keep you. Because uh, why would I possibly do that? I would not do that. So uh, thank you for tuning in. You are awesome. Michael, thank you for watching live. Thanks for everybody who watches on the replay. Uh, if you have a topic you would like the show to cover, leave it in the comments. Make sure to subscribe or follow, whether you're watching on YouTube or Twitch. And follow GWF Promoter on social media, at GWF Promoter. You can check out my personal feds at GWFpromoter.com and LOWpromoter.com. Uh, both of those websites have uh, toolbox sections, uh, which uh, you may find some little resources there. Um, check out, uh, Check those out. The theme song is American Guy by Throwing Toasters, which is available and used by permission on Apple Music, Spotify, and anywhere you get your music. This podcast is not affiliated in any way with Phil Singer Games or its subsidiaries. It's purely for entertainment purposes. This episode is copyright 2020, Saturday Morning Media, all rights reserved. See you next week, everybody. I'm leagues above you other dumb schmucks. I'm from where the women are hot And the Twinkies are deep fried And every day I pledge allegiance to God and country I'm the